So first of all, the first question that you need to, to think about, or what, the first task, I guess, is go to your phone and look at the last 10 things that you bought on Amazon. And does that spark any ideas for you? Did those solve any problems for you? Did they have any issues that you, you thought of that you thought, oh, this is awesome, but I wish it was X, Y, Z. So that's something to consider. Um, ask yourself those questions. Are these things generic? Are they brand name? Am I brand loyal to any of these things? Just look at your own patterns and your own shopping patterns first and think, oh, I wish they had this. I wish they had that. Um, you know, oftentimes even stores, when you leave, they'll ask you, hey, um, is there anything, did you find everything you needed? If you didn't, what could we improve upon? You know, what could you add? So that's something to consider as well as you looking at that, look at those things. If you want a place to start, look at the last 10 things or the last 20 things you bought on Amazon and now go read the product reviews. That's your task. Read product reviews and see what people are saying about these things. Not all of them are going to be great. Some of them are going to say, well, it was this and this, or I wish it did, or I wish it had those types of things. Look at what the customers are saying about those. Even good products with good reviews will still have suggestions. Like I'm one of those. I'll be honest. If I stay at your Airbnb, I'm going to be like, I, I will always give the chance for feedback and I'm very positive. I've always have suggestions, of course, because I am a frequent Airbnb -er, right? When we go to Airbnbs, I just like what I like and I think things are cool and I always give them reason. Why? Because feedback's great. I mean, they can take it or leave it, but it's just like, okay, this place is awesome. One great thing here is I would love to have a rug in this room because it's super, super echoey and you can't undo that unless you have some sort of rugs or something because it's like hardwood floors and taller you know, blank walls and things. Um, so, you know, feedback. Feedback's really important. People like to leave their feedback, especially when it's negative, right? So read the reviews because people will complain about things that were broken or didn't work. That is an opportunity for you to create a bundle or a product. A lot of the bundles that I have created have been the result of negative experiences with other products. I'm like, dang, this stinks. I wish I had blank. And I'm like, well, why can't I have blank? Why can't I create blank? That's just me thinking. Okay, so the last 10 things, maybe 20 things on your phone, go read some reviews. Y'all, this is a 15 minute hustle. This isn't a three hours of research, but just go look. Just give yourself a few minutes, look at those things, read a few reviews, some positives, some negatives. Uh, read the one stars, read the middle stars, read the all of the, you know, just read a good handful of them. And not always the ones Amazon suggests, read a good handful of them. And then, the second phase of that is if that doesn't spark some of your creativity of products that you have bought and used on your own, then think about some other problems you had. Here's an example of a problem I've had. There, I fell in love with a food product that they don't carry anywhere around here. They do, it's kind of far to go there. So it's gonna be easier to um, find it on Amazon and Amazon does not have Amazon only has it in like a 12 pack in a 12 pack would take me a long time to use. I don't know that it would expire, but like, it's not something I really need to stock up on. And I really was annoyed that I couldn't buy a single or a double unit even of that. So that's just an example of my own problem that I thought, well, what if I add this item and buy, buy it by the case the distributor and I add this item and I keep the two for myself that I need every month and then I'll sell the rest on Amazon in a two bag. Why not? It's a food product and it has a decent shelf life, just not something I would want to keep in my cupboard space and have 12, you know, jars of it or whatever. So there's a solution for that. It's called put a two pack on Amazon. Somebody wants it. Not everybody, not all the time. And, and then I looked into it and realized it's probably not that pro I mean, you have to charge a pretty penny to, to make it worth it because it's heavy. And so it's just kind of like, it's hard to explain. Some things aren't profitable, but that's an idea that you can go for and be like, oh, but what if it was like lightweight and easy to send and it was, had an expiration date of like five years? Well, then why not? You got nothing to lose, but buy a case of it and do a two pack and see what happens. 